Good day. We are looking at units and measurements. And here we have something called SI. This is very important. We call it SI units. And it actually stands for an international system of measurements. But SI, I believe, is French. And it's something like this. <clears throat> Système international. <laughs> maybe, maybe. If you speak French, please ignore that. But that's why it's SI and not IS. Système international means scientists have decided that uh, certain units should be used. As we've already talked about uh, pounds, kilograms, inches, feet, uh, meters, centimeters. And where I grew up in America, people use uh, feet and inches. So when I had, you know, basketball cards and baseball cards, I was always fascinated by the players' heights. I knew the heights of all the major players. Michael Jordan, six foot six. And there was one guy named Spud Webb who was about five foot five or five foot six. And uh, that's about the height that I grew up to be. The only difference, major difference between him and myself is that he could jump really high and dunk a basketball. And uh, I can't even reach the projector screen to pull it down. Anyways, carrying on. So what is an SI unit? A uh, simple definition. A standard unit of measurement used by scientists around the world. It makes communication easier and I'll give you several examples of um, when this has gone wrong in the past. Standard unit of measurement. So if I say I'm 56, you don't know what I'm talking about. My age, my height, what, what units are we talking about? So you've got to be careful about that. So pause if you need to write that down. Uh, types of measurements here, we've learned about length, mass, time, temperature. There's something called amount of substance. We actually won't use this in seventh grade, but uh, I just want to show you because it's really, really interesting. So the SI units that are being used here, uh, what are the international units that everyone uses to communicate length, mass, time, and temperature? And obviously, it's the metric system that, that we're kind of sticking to here. So uh, we're going to go with the gram. Here, let's call that the gram. So meter, its symbol is lowercase m, the gram for mass, time measured in seconds. Now, temperature gets quite interesting here. Celsius and Fahrenheit are used around the world. And to convert between them is really annoying. Uh, you can remember, you can memorize the formula, or you can just go to Google and type convert 15 degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit, and it'll do that calculation for you. It'll skip a few steps. But um, one other measure of temperature, which we won't actually use here, only students maybe in chemistry, in uh, upper grades of chemistry, will use something called the Kelvin. And uh, I won't go into it right now, but it's very interesting how they came up with the Kelvin scale. I think zero Kelvin is actually equal to negative 273 degrees Celsius. That's very, very cold. Um, we'll stick with Celsius here. The amount of substance, there's something called a mole. And a mole is not, well, you, I can think, I'm thinking of two things. I'm thinking of the thing that's on my nose, all right? Not a pimple, a mole, or the animal that digs holes underground. But here, it's neither of those. A mole is actually equivalent to this. It's actually a really big number. It is six, the number six, followed by 23 zeros. That's how many things. So if I say I have one mole of atoms, then this is how many atoms I'm talking about. If I have one mole of popcorn, then that's more than enough popcorn to feed uh, the entire world. And uh, there's a lot of interesting things out there on the internet that tell us you can find about, if I had one mole of something, what would that be like? So I'm going to shrink that down a little bit and make sure you have everything down here. Um, we've already talked about this. I'm not going to go through this. Just another example. Um, same thing we've talked about before. Kings, humans, dragons, star, dogs, cat, mice. You can use this for conversions. I have another tip for conversions coming up in a little bit here. And finally, a table showing a lot of these prefixes. Kilometer, kilo, centimeter, centa, millimeter. And what the equivalent is when you measure it with meters. Nano oops, meter, spelling mistake, <laughs> just a little bit. And finally, there's a little diagram for you to take a look at right here and a few practice questions to try out. So if you need to find the answers, uh, 
pause right now to try all these out, and then you can come back and check out the answers. Uh, I'm going to reveal them in five, four, three, two, one. Ta-da! Ta-da!